Yes. And this is the dorsum sound I'm used to. Welcome back, my very dear viewers. I'm Paul. This is my studio, Warsaw Point, and my humble YouTube channel. Good to have you here. Guys, another synth by Dawson and a guy called Peter that's behind Dawson is out. It's called Cult, and well, it's kind of probable that this time again is going to be really something interesting and creative as it was with all the previous releases by Peter and Dawson and this time what I'm particularly interested in are oscillators of this machine based on the mathematical idea of strange attractors. Shall we give it a go? Okay guys, and this is how Cult looks like. It's a familiar look and GUI. It's been like this in Abyss and in Novum. So nothing new in the idea and the concept and the visual concept of the synth. These are the oscillators and I can already see that they are weird. <laughs> So these are the strange attractors. You know what? I feel like reading something about these strange attractors. These independent, uh, powerful oscillators are based on the mathematical theory of chaos, strange attractors, and there are more than 30 models to choose from, ranging from classical, classical waveforms to chaotic sculptures. Mathematical filter or dynamic system, an attractor is a set of states toward which a system tends to evolve for a wide variety of starting conditions of the system. System values that get close enough to the attractive values from blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, no, this is too complicated to can contain all this in a short video. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave it here, okay? It's inspired somehow by strange attractors and mathematics. Initial sound. This is so, but it's represented also in a weird way. This is a sound designer's dream for some sci-fi ambient soundscapes. It's not a surprise to me at all because Abyss and Novum are totally capable of sounds of that kind too, especially I think Abyss can do it. And it's not different here, but the way it works, it is a mystery to me, though it's already somehow fascinating. Uh, uh, let's go for some preset keys. Okay, I'm gonna go to the initial sound again. Oh, 
okay, so let's say this is my sound. I'd like to tweak. I have arpeggiator here. I'm not going to use it now. I've got oscillator here. I can get frequency modulation for this oscillator, amplitude modulation. I've got oval filter. Now I've got unison. Yes, and this is the Dawson sound I'm used to. Totally dark, gritty, ambient thing that's easy to tweak, actually, somehow experimental and happens right here, right now. I've got filter here. Oh, the filter is dual and it can be serial and parallel and can be low pass 12, 4, 24, high pass and bypass uh, 12 or 24, nice. I've got distortion, which I'm not gonna use now. I'm gonna leave this filter as it is. Modulation matrix, which can be chosen from components here. Let's, yeah, let's modulate something. Let's, um, let's make an LFO, shape of the LFO. Where can I choose the shape? Yes, like this. What I can do right now is that I can choose a parameter like, for example, this, and I can make it happen. Nice, but way slower. This is more than cool, and I've already got an interesting patch I could save. Yes, a set consisting uh, cult and infiltrator, for example, is going to be a huge, funny playground for me, guys. I think I'm ready to sum the things up. Cult tends to sound really gritty, dark, somehow disturbing, and it's a great, great name, of course, for this synth. And no, it's not going to be your new go-to, because it's not a preset machine for some basic sounds or ready-made presets. It's a huge field to experiment with. And guys, you can tweak it really fast, and you can get crazy results very, very quickly. So I suppose for every ambient music musician or for people writing music for some some games or horror movies and stuff, that's going to be a great, great addition to the arsenal. And I'm more than sure that I will be using this on some of my productions, guys. Because, again, Peter and his Dawson, again, went kind of awesome. It must be the lamest rhyme of 2022, so I will stop here, guys. And I will recommend you this, and you have to excuse me, because I'm gonna get back to tweak it more. Anyway, comment down below, let's discuss, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye!